Dude, I am in love with this grenade launcher, man. And I, I know I'm like fanboying all over these exotics, but I like it when Bungie thinks outside of the box, okay? I like that these exotics actually feel freaking exotic. They actually feel like they put some thought into it. This is a grenade launcher that literally spits out little bitty robots that chase you down and explode. It's fucking cool, man. I like when I see stuff like this. This gives me hope. Now, we're going to talk about this gun in PvE and PvP. And also the perks on this weapon, which ones were utilized the best. Essentially, yes, the intrinsic perk on this gun is it spits out little robots that chase you down. Okay, that's great. Now the trait right here, we have a trait called Serve the Colony. If you remember the perk that we had on most of our raid weapons from the Taken King, it's essentially the same thing. It's Cocoon just on this gun and it's got a fancier name called Serve the Colony, which is pretty cool, man. I like the wording there. Now, is this gun... A major weapon in PvE. Not really. I felt like for the most part whenever I was trying to like just kill a single target, I would shoot the gun and the little robot would like sometimes it would hit the boss or hit whatever I'm trying to DPS down. And then other times like the little robots would like kind of go do its own thing and chase down an ad. Um, which was I guess okay, but I mean when you're trying to do optimal DPS to a single target You want your weapon to go where you want it to go, right? So again the little robots not necessarily always gonna listen to you even outside of that I just didn't feel like the weapon was just that major of a DPS weapon But here's the thing I this is not on my accounts And this is really just gonna require me to go into like the raid really test this out on Callus. It may be something great, you know what I mean? I mean, a lot of us didn't think Cold Heart was that great, and then it turned out to be a wonderful weapon for dealing with Callus and Skulls and all that good stuff. Now, the Colony may be something that I may use uh, as a DPS weapon. As of right now, just from what I've seen just in strikes and public events, I just didn't feel it, man. I didn't feel like it was that great of a weapon. But let's talk about PvP. Is this the exotic that will be replacing things like Legend of Acris for you? Or maybe even War Cliff Coil? What, what is this gun standing? I think it could because this weapon right here has a lot of good things going for it. Essentially, it felt like a guaranteed kill every single time. If you see an enemy in front of you, as long as you just shoot within their general direction, it will finish them off. And it requires you really to not even aim, to not really do anything. You just, like I said, you just shoot within their general area. The only downside of this weapon is you only get four shots in PvP when you pick up power. So there's just not a lot of kill potential there in comparison to something like Legend of Acrius. Now the advantage that this weapon has over Legend of Acrius is you don't have to be nearly as aggressive. And I honestly feel like this is a great weapon for getting those picks, especially for, for teams that like to play extremely passive. I had a lot of teams this past week in survival that would push back into the building the moment they got life advantage and this is a gun that can really weed them out and do a good job of getting in there and tracking them out and getting the kill and pick for you so overall guys i'm impressed with this exotic i think it's a really good one i need to test it out more in pve to see where it stands in terms of dps but in pvp i enjoy it i will say my only tip about using this weapon in pvp is you might want to just consider shooting a little in front of the enemy versus directly on the enemy as you might risk shooting past the enemy entirely. You do that, then, well, the robot won't even register wherever the hell the enemy is, and it'll just pretty much be a dud. So shooting kind of in front of the enemy gives the robot a chance to actually get up and get moving. The other side, I would say, is kind of play peek and stuff. Since sometimes it takes it a second for the robot to track the enemy down and chase him down and kill him, it would probably be more advantageous for you to play a little more around cover. So again, it's got a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get that down, the weapon will work wonders for you. Fellas, that's the colony, man. I am probably going to hold off on any more exotic videos for the rest of the day. I've got to do some farming on my own account and actually get raid ready. Thank you so much for coming and watching, guys. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.